Now, this is great, but it works for more than simply volume elements. We can use what we have learned about coordinate changes to transform any kind of integral via the amazingly important change of variables theorem. Let's say that we have a change of coordinates, f, and it's of the form u equals f of x. Then the integral of a function h over a region f of r converts as follows. If I look at the integral of h of u du over f of r, where r is some region in x coordinates, then this integral is the integral over r of h of f of x times the absolute value of the determinant of df times dx. Now notice what we've done. We've we transformed the integrand from h of f of x to h of u. We've transformed the domain from r to f of r, and we've transformed the volume element from dx to du. Now this is really just u substitution in disguise. If you write down the classical u substitution formula from single variable calculus, you see that term by term, absolutely everything matches up perfectly, right down to the change of limits, the change of domain. The only thing that doesn't quite match up is the absolute values. Hey, where are those guys? You might want to think about that. That has an interesting answer, but everything else makes sense. Now, that's kind of an abstract formula. You're probably wanting to see some examples, and that is exactly the right thing to do because it takes some practice to really internalize the very, very significant change of variables theorem. That is what we're going to do next.